Witness my power! Witness! Witness the candelabra of death! The candelabra of having a quarter of heart! The candelabra of dying a lot! It is the candelabra of death! Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we started DLC Pack 2. I also decided to do this intro as fast as humanly possible. We knocked out the first two trials and shrines, the very weird big nose shrines that have the candelabra of death on them. And today, we are going to be talking to Cass. <laughs> hmm? How unexpected to see a traveler on this solitary plateau. Oh. Ah, uh, we meet again, hmm? Not to be rude, but you don't look so well. Much like this plateau, you're looking a mite oh. dreary. Oh, I apologize. Perhaps it is not my place to say as much. I understand more than most the burden of travel. As for me, I came to this spot to pursue an ancient song about a hero at this very plateau. Oh. I cannot help to shake the feeling that we were destined to meet here. In any case, would you like to hear my song? Oh. Thank you, kind traveler. Now then, please open your ears and your heart to my song. The flames crawl, the waters rise. The lightning strikes, the wind sighs. A beast beyond the, the divine four awaits a hero forevermore. Let not the sound leave horses riled. Breath is in the wild of the wild. <laughs> I made the mistake. Curious indeed. As it were, I per perused my teacher's old notes and found that song there. Hmm? What sort of sound could alarm a horse so effectively? Kaboom, kapow, rumble, rumble? Honestly, I haven't a clue. It certainly helps to visit the locations that inspired the song. Yes, it helps open my mind to inspiration. These notes had other interesting songs, too. I plan to visit those locations as well. Bye! <laughs> I could not make head nor tail of what he just sang or said, but I know it was important, and... I'm gonna avoid the bees. And it will make sense in time. Okay, this episode we're going to be heading towards the final two trials. And I think it starts with this shrine, but I should probably... <laughs> so I don't just warp there and then immediately die. Let's equip snow quill stuff. And now warp there. No enemies? Alright, I'm fine. But it appears the enemies are over there, so let's equip, not the ancient bow, let's equip our falcon bow with quick shot, because this thing's a beast. Ancient arrows first. No, I didn't mean to do that. And then we're going to fly over there and hopefully take out whatever enemies we can while we can in the air. I'm kind of scared. Oh, they're mounted. And they're moblins. Okay, let's equip the bomb arrows. Kill that horse. There are no enemies up this way. No. Looks like there's a dude down there. Oh boy. Can this guy get to me? Oh no. Oh no. I think my shield blocks it. I don't know. Oh, it does. Oh man. That was terrifying. Get down. Get down, I say. Oh, that was terrifying. He's coming up. Maybe. Maybe. What is he doing? Does he not know where I am anymore? Okay. <laughs> He's done. Okay, there's a moblin. Oh, it's a stall horse! Oh, it's a stall... He just phased through a wall. Oh, okay, okay. Very creepy style horse. You, sir. I don't need to burn this on you. Okay. I'm, I'm really scared right now, as you can tell. I, I keep thinking I hear someone behind me when I don't. 
Okay, I would like to get the high ground on this guy. Switch over to this. There's a dude there. Just kill him. Got him. I don't... Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Okay. And then... I suppose short range. This one's longer range. But still, frantic bows are not good, so as soon as I, I am able, I need to get another ancient bow. Problem is, I think those require ancient, uh, giant ancient cores, which are difficult to find. No one's up here. I don't think. And it's in the morning, so there aren't going to be any stall enemies. Headshot. That did nothing? Uh, that did absolute nothing. I'm, uh, let's see. There are more, and there are a lot more enemies over there. I think at some point I'm gonna have to go melee. It might be against this guy. Can you stop, Link? Yeah, I think it's gonna have to be against this guy. Hopefully he doesn't see me. He didn't see me. Oh, wait. Stasis? Die. Whew. It says I can use this thing once per day, or twice per day, but or twice per period, but that's not what I've been doing. I've been using it with Reckless Abandon, and it has not been going on cooldown. Okay, I need to be careful, because I am going to a perch, which means I'm going to be easily spotted. Dude there. Let's take care of him while we can. Okay, he's dead. Okay, we have stasis ready. He doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. This is uh, not a good place to be. Okay, come on. I don't want to detonate this by accident. There he is. Very careful. Very careful. No! Run! He has a Korok Leaf! Okay. He's done. Whew. He's done. I was scared of a Korok Leaf. I don't even think that would deal damage. But I was, let it be known I was scared of a Korok Leaf. Let's take this guy's stuff. I won't be able to get a sneak strike on this guy. Okay, he's down. Oh. That's weird. And I bet you didn't see this coming. That should be it. It's not. <sighs> now I need to be scared once again. Where and where and what is the final enemy here? Uh, I'm going to grab a stout horse. It allowed me to canvas the area eat more easily. Oh. Hello. That's awkward. Oh. <laughs> that was weird. What hit me? That was kind of scary. I think I, the horse reared and hit me, but it didn't kill me. Which, whatever doesn't kill me. It doesn't make me stronger, just, you know, it doesn't kill me. <sighs> At some point, I need to stop s being so scared of my ailment here. I was kind of worried that it was bees, but it looks like I'm fine. At some point, I'll probably adapt to this and start acting like I normally do in combat, because I normally don't get hit in combat, but the fact that I can get hit makes me terrified. Ruvo Corva Shrine.
Ooh. <laughs> oh, I am happy with this. I am ready for a major test of strength. I love major tests of strength. And it means that I am now forced to... I probably don't need attack up, but whatever. Defense isn't going to help me. Okay. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready, man. And if possible, I can show off a glitch, which I've been wanting to show off for quite some time, and I haven't been able to. <clears throat> okay, it's one of these guys. Let's bring up my shield now. Come on. Come on, buddy. No. Oh, hey. <clears throat> I can show off the glitch. So if you place Cryonis... Oh, that didn't work. Oh. That's multi-hit. Okay. I was trying to show off a glitch. Did not work, and I died for it. <laughs> I thought I'd be fine. I have come to the conclusion that I need to stop being such a wimp about this. And I need to... I need to man up. I really need to man up. This is... This is Pal acting like he does not have one hit. And he's not going to be killed in one shot. This is Pal embracing this. And it doesn't matter how, uh, how weak you are if you never get hit. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was kind of wondering in the back of my mind. Also, I wasn't able to show off the bug. That's frustrating. I was... In the back of my mind, I was thinking, wait a minute. Isn't... Doesn't I... Don't I kill enemies in one hit? And then I was thinking, nah, this is a major test of strength. Certainly they wouldn't do that. But uh, they did. They they did. So all that, that me... All of me ramping myself up was not needed. What is this? Whoa. This is new. It's a switch. Bomb arrows. This is odd. There's a switch. What? Oh, it resets. That's sweet. Oh, that's really sweet. I might be able to show off the glitch. That's cool. And I assume maybe the other side will have a switch as well. This is cool. Wait. Wait, what? What? Oh, never mind. I was expecting another enemy to come up. But that's not what they're doing. Wait, but I don't have a small key. Need to be careful. But there are no tiny guardians. That's what I thought. <laughs> I'm bad. I'll I'll take that one. I'll take that one on the chin. I am a new man. I am a new man. And being a new man, I am not taking chances. I'm using all the tools in my arsenal, which involve insta-killing guardians. In fact... Where is he? Where is he? Dun 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 they have two of them. Dun 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 Blind corridors. Blind corridors. None here. None up. And that way. I should not have <laughs> lightning in this place. Dun 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 There's my chest. Probably has the small key in it. Giant ancient core. Ooh. I need need one of those for an ancient bow. Okay, I'm good. I think I'm safe for now. But also, I forget I need my uh, Mission Impossible clothes. There we go. There's gonna be one around the corner. 
No, there's not. Okay. Sweet. That contains the small key. Small key. And make sure there are no whammies. I'm good. Let's go in. Mm. I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious. Thought so. I knew it. Whoa. Oh. Wait. That, that was three shots. One. There's one above. Okay. There's one over there. Oh, this is nerve-wracking. Use Cryonis. Cryonis? Oh, wait. Okay. That guy also has weapons. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, the, the main guy above is the problem. So if I stasis him, I can even do it through here. This is my plan. Stasis this guy, run to that guy, kill him in one go, run below this guy so he can't shoot me, and then when stasis is back up, we kill this guy. That's my plan. Ready, set. There's four. There's four. Okay. Do 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 do. Okay. Stasis this guy. Run, kill him. Kill that guy. Shoot that guy. Stun him. Profit. Ready. Set. Dun 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 dun. Keep going. Change your plans. Dun 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 Shooting fools. Also, that's one of fa my favorite guardian shields. The triangle one looks way cooler than the, than the plus plus. Man, that was exhilarating. I I'm starting to like DLC pack two, even though I die in one hit. It's it really harkens back to the very early parts of the series where I always died in one hit to everything and stealth everywhere. I like it. The coolest thing about this this challenge is that enemies, like incidental enemies that would normally be at camps and whatnot, are gone. So I don't need to worry about them at all. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. There's a dude over there. Wait. No, that's that's cover. Don't need to worry. I have stealth up gear. I want to get the, to the top of the mountain and then kill enemies from there. If I can just get up there and snipe enemies left and right, I should be good. Also, my equipment are the snow boots, the uh, the cold gear, whatever's called snow quill, and then the helmet for a little bit of attack up, and then I'm using stealth gear, or stealth potion, or stealth food. You know what I mean. <laughs> it's, it's what I mean, not what I say. And I decided to equip the helmet because A, I am a bandit of the night, and B, <laughs> Uh, it doesn't matter how much defense I have, so I can I can use the cooler of the two attack options. Although, the coolest option... There's probably an enemy up here. The coolest of the two options is... The Fierce Deity Armor, which I kind of want to get before the end of the series because it gives some cool stuff. It's identical to the Berserker Greaves. You can still upgrade it and stuff. Uh, but it's, it's the Fierce Deity stuff, which is embedded in the lore far more than... Far more than anything else. What is this? That's odd. I don't... Search? Amber. That's odd. Huh. Oh. Okay, so... Oh, man. Hmm. There are a lot of enemies here. I... And I... Mm. I think... You know what? Wait, do I have any stealth... Or not stealth. Uh, stamina stuff? I do. Okay, I think I'm going to take all these enemies out in one... One bow time. That's wrong. 
So I'll equip the Ancient Arrow. And I'm going to jump to the side so that I'm not going to be landing in the midst of them. <laughs> Kill him. Kill him. Kill that guy. Kill him. Watch my stamina. I'm gonna refill. Kill him. Shoot one in there. Did I get him? I didn't get them. I got most of them. Okay, this should do the job though. And in fact, let's use the Great Eagle Bow. And then fire an uh, fire arrow at you. They should be almost yeah, they're almost dead. And now kill him, kill you, switch over to the quick shot bow. Where is he? There he is. Alright, they're almost all dead. I think the keys do count, so I need to be careful about that. Now I think I, I should be free to, to snipe with the Phrenic Bow. Are they after me? No, I don't think they see me. That was stupid. No, how did you know it was... I guess he deduced from the shot. Okay, that should deal extra damage. Almost enough to kill him. Almost enough to kill him. Enough to kill him. Okay. Now for the keys. I'll run up to that tree, climb it. I don't need any normal arrows for them. And then jump off and, and bow time them. There's one more Lizalfos there. He has a bow. But it should be fine. You. 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 Missed him. And all the keys are down. I don't really have to worry anymore. In fact, I'm going to let this guy come to me. Uh, but before he does. Okay, he's, uh, he's right there. Whoa! Do that. Kill him. I'm going to wait for him to come to me. And then I'm going to stasis him. Whoa! You! Not cool. Oh, he doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. Okay, I'm fine. Whew, okay, that uh, that all went really according to plan. Except for the last part where he tried to eat me. I don't think you'll see me here. But I could be certain and throw a bomb. Okay, thread the needle. <laughs> Boosh! That was awkward. Uh, that worked. That worked. It was an ice guy. Yeah, that went relatively according to plan. I didn't die. There were a few uncontrolled elements there, but for the most part, I uh, I did my I did my job. I did my job. I'm gonna be out out of arrows by the time I finish this episode. <laughs> Although I guess this is the final thing I'm doing this episode. This and then finding out what our reward is for doing this. Where is our shrine? Where's our shrine? Shrine! Shrine? I didn't see where you went. Shrine. Where are you? Is it there? There it is. Hello, shrine. Let's not take fall damage. Yoinks! Etsu Korima. Shrine. Hopefully this shrine is of the Mission Impossible variety and not of the spiky, stupid mechanics variety. This is terrifying. This is absolutely terrifying. Path of Light. Good. <laughs> Good. There are enemies in here, aren't there? Need to be careful. I already know that they don't want to play fair with this. Are those going to move? No. 
now. Okay, I have a light with this. That doesn't give me light. Oh, my falcon bow's bad at the damage. That stinks. How do I get across? Can I... No, I, there's no way I can crouch under this. Mmm... Oh, no, I can. Carefully. Slowly. And there I go. Alright, they're not spring any enemies on me yet. Let's make sure there are no chests down here. Should be fine. Nothing down here. I can't stasis anything. They don't want us to cheat on this. Mainly using the bow for the light. This is terrifying. I don't... I'm fine with traps. Traps I think I can see coming. Maybe. But enemies... can get a shot out before I can even register that they're there. Mm. Walking over here. This looks too avoidable, and that, that has me terrified. I can just walk right there, right? Unless there's something I need to do in the middle? No. No, I don't trust this. That was too easy. Carefully. Carefully. Alright, I think I'm good. I'm terrified, still. Okay. Fire. This really reminds me of The Incredibles. Again, the rule is... You can't stasis it. This looks simple. I'm gonna wait for it to go once more. Alright. Okay. Just want to watch it once, one more time. Through. Wasn't there something right in front of me? No. Hmm. I just want to watch this one for a second. I don't think the order's as I think it is. That one's off for a long time. I'm through. All right. I thought there might have been a fall there. Knew it. I knew it. I knew it. My bow's gonna break on me in a moment. There's no, there's no, there's no cover. Okay, my bow broke. And don't want to use that. Uh, I'm gonna use Revali's Re bow. Okay. Let's draw my weapon. Mm hmm. I'm so on edge. Do 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 do. Is this it? That's pretty. I'll just take a moment to reflect on how pretty that is. Thumbnail right there. Mmm. That's great. But we're done. Maybe? I'm kind of expecting the walls to open up and there to be like Incredibles, the Incredibles goop firing at me. Is this where we find out all the past versions of of Guardians that have defeated the heroes? Is, is Gazer Beam gonna, is this Gazer Beam? Or Laser Beam or whatever his name, I think that, I think it is. He's even covering his eyes. We found him guys. He wasn't behind the waterfall this time, though. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial? Yeah, I know. We have four! In theory, we should be able to get another heart container. The fog isn't here anymore. I am Maz Koshia. You have done well to conquer the trials laid before you. You are Hyrule's beacon of hope. 
Well, I was. I've kind of defeated Ganon now, but whatever. You, but your trials have only just begun. The divine weapon shall lead you. The candelabra of death is actually the candelabra of light. It's the candelabra of Sailor Moon. Odd. Very odd. Hmm. Each one of these features the Divine Beast so prominently. This might involve us entering them once again? Now that you've proven your power, a new journey awaits. Go to the four locations that will be revealed to you, and reach for greater heights than ever before. Well, there's- that's our mission. Yeah! Health! Other things associated with being healthy. Yeah! We've been here- yeah, we, okay, we've been here before. That's gonna be it for this episode! I think this is a good stopping point, especially since the window where you guys can give input is slowly and steadily closing. I think it's best if I end it here, though I would love to keep going. Uh, next time, in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we are going to be going to one of the major areas. I'm thinking we might go to Tabantha and conquer these in reverse order from what we did in the Let's Play. Uh, so that would be Tabantha, Gerudo, Elden, and Lanayru. But I'm open to suggestions. Maybe you guys have another idea. Maybe there's something super convenient that I get in Lanayru, and I should do that, and it'll help me in the other regions. I don't know. I'm open to whatever feedback and insight you may offer. That's going to be it for this episode. I'll see you guys next time where we tackle more of the DLC.